now going to mix oh so good we are just going to mix it up oh my gosh the texture is amazing i have no idea if you've tried yakama before yakama is super healthy it's super good it's good actually so and I'm here welcome to my channel so today or should I say tonight we are going to be having a movie night with the kids so and uh, we are watching a special movie okay so I wanted to just share some of the little you know foodies we are going to have some uh, not, ne not necessarily snacks but some finger foods as uh, you know stuff like that so I wanted to share with you I know it's been a while I haven't been making videos and just I do not have the time to make the video I, I just don't have the time so I have uh, some of the ingredients here tonight we are going to be making some uh, chicken salad and we are going to eat it with crackers we are going to be making guacamole guacamole I'm telling you guys I, I only have one and one and a half avocado left <laughs> so i was supposed to make this video last night and i had a bunch of avocados and my husband he ate them all so i only have a little bit left one and a half so this was the main recipe so now i don't have a lot left but we are going to make it with one and a half avocado we have left okay Sorry about all the noise in the background. My kids are excited about the movie night. And since we are going to be watching uh, the Jesus Christ movie, they know about Jesus. They know the story of Jesus, but I have never, I have never shown them the visuals. Okay. So yes, guys, okay, I don't want to waste a lot of time because we have to start, uh, you know, we have to start watching the movie soon. And it's a long movie, you know, the story of Jesus is pretty long. So, and because we are going to be watching the movie, it's going to, I know that it may be sensitive sometimes, you know, the suffering of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So I wanted to set up a good mood at least. So this is why I wanted to have all of the food we are going to have while they are watching the movie because it may be emotional okay so i'm um, we are going to start with the chicken okay so this is the chicken breast um i'm going to basically cut them up a little bit so it's easier and i'll show you how i'm going to do it okay so we are going to start with our chicken salad all right my lovely people you know chicken breast doesn't take a long time to cook so just add a little bit of water, okay? And I'm going to be adding just a pinch of onions, okay? A little bit of onions, not a lot. And I'm going to be adding a bit of green onions, okay? A little bit of green onions. I'm going to be adding a little bit of celery, okay? And I'm going to be adding a little bit of salt and a little bit of nutmeg and a little bit of black pepper. That's it, really. Oh, you know what? The black pepper, guys, let's do that one after. So let's just add a bit of nutmeg, just a little bit, and add a little bit of salt. Please be careful with the salt. Just add a little bit of it. We don't want to we don't want to have food that is too salty okay so we are going to be adding a little bit of salt okay just like that and then we are going to cover and let cook for about takes about 15 minutes we'll be ready 
Really? Voila. All right, my lovely people. So let's go ahead and make our guacamole. Our guacamole, okay? So I have my avocados here. I have, I've already washed them, okay? So I'm going to take off the seed. Okay, use a spoon. Use whatever works. And just grab our avocado. Okay, you see how green our avocado is right so we're just taking the skin off okay because we're just trying to get our avocado and of course wash your hands okay you want to wash your hands please because it can be messy Wash your hands and if you feel comfortable wearing gloves, please do so. Okay. All right, guys. So we are going to start with our guacamole. And the first thing I want to put is a little bit of lime juice so we can keep our avocado green. Okay. So just a little bit. We don't want to do a lot. Okay. Just a little bit of lime juice. Okay. So right away, I'm going to just mix it up. Okay, so so we can keep the greenery. Okay, we don't want it to lose the color. So that's the only reason why. Okay. So after smashing it very pretty good, okay, I'm then going to be adding a little bit of green onions. Okay, just a little bit of green onions. And then mix it good. I'm showing you the best tasting guacamole you've ever had, okay? My way. And then I'm going to be adding a little bit of onions. Not too much, okay? So just a bit of onions. That's it. My kids are so excited because of the movie. That's why you have all, you can hear all of the noise. And then I'm going to be adding a little bit of cilantro, okay? Just a little bit. Cilantro, okay? So tasty. A little bit of cilantro. And a little bit of tomatoes, okay? Just a bit of tomato. This is a grain of tomato I have chopped in small pieces. And then we're gonna mix it up. You see how my guacamole is very green and beautiful. And then my very last ingredients, okay? I love, let me, let me tell you. This is totally up to you, but I love to add a little bit of bacon. Yes, I am going to put a little bit of bacon. It's super tasty try it i'm telling you i'm we are going to be adding a little bit of bacon and a little bit of black pepper and that's it our guacamole is going to be done and it's so tasty super tasty just try my it. lovely people as i said i'm adding a little bit of bacon yes a little bit of bacon and a little bit of black pepper and we are going to mix it very good and this is the best guacamole you've ever had just try it if you doubt me the best guacamole you have you you have ever had the bacon oh my gosh and everything i've put in here mm, mm, mm. guys I kid you not. I kid you not. Okay? I, I am not kidding. This is the best guacamole you've ever had. Just I mean, you can just imagine all, all the ingredients inside, right? Super tasty. Mm, I cannot wait. I'm supposed to wait for the movie to start, but I just want to have a little bite, okay? I want to have a little bite of it, okay? Mmm. It's so good. Mm. 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 
the best guacamole ever. Mmm. Mmm. So good. So good. So just checking on the chicken now, guys. Checking on the chicken. So this is perfect. It smells good. So we're just going to wait for the water to dry. But the idea is to smash the chicken, right? So I'm just going to use my kitchen scissors and just start smashing them, okay? Until you smash them very, 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 very well, okay? Because we're making chicken salad. So just smash, 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 smash. That's it. You see this, my lovely people? You see how our chicken is well smashed, right? So this is what we want. I have smashed everything very good. The chicken is ready. So now we are going to proceed with our chicken salad. All right, my lovely people. So now it's time to go ahead and make our chicken salad, okay? So I'm just going to put the chicken from here to a bowl. And we are going to start mixing everything. You see how it's juicy, very juicy, and it's very tasty without even all of the things we have to put there. Let me, let me bring it closer. You see how it's so moist? Super moist, okay? Super duper moist. Super duper moist. So it's so moist, but now we are going to start with the fun part, okay? We have to put a little bit of mayo, a little bit of um, green onions, a little bit, a tiny bit of tomatoes. Uh, if you want to add eggs, you can. I'm not going to add eggs this time. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and proceed. A bit of onions. A bit of green onions, celery, and cilantro. Just a little bit. You don't have to do too much. Okay. A little bit of tomatoes. Just a little bit. Voila. Only if you wish a tiny bit of mustard. Just a tiny bit. Okay. Just like that. And finally, we are going to put mayo. Okay, you you can use a ranch dressing. It's also good. I like like to use mayo. Okay, and we are going to mix everything pretty good. Okay, we are going to mix. Oh, so good. We are just going to mix it up. Oh my gosh, the texture is amazing, guys. The the te uh, texture. And the taste so good. I am not even lying to you. So good. Mm, mm, mm. My goodness, look at look at this. Look at that. So good. Okay, so I have no idea if you've tried yakama before. Yakama is super healthy. It's super good. It's good, actually. So a lot of times, a lot of people see it at the store and they just don't pay attention to it because they don't know it. So yakama, if I can compare it to something, it's, it's a root, really. It's like it's a root. Um, I can compare it to sweet potatoes or yams. Sometimes people call them yams, but really they are sweet potatoes. So I can compare yakama to sweet potatoes. You can eat, eat it raw or you can fry. Really, you can also deep fry it. So this is exactly what we are going to do today. I'm going to peel it and I'm going to, we will be enjoying some of it. 
uh, raw and some we are going to deep fry okay so let's go ahead and peel the yakima and uh, discover it's pretty healthy it's pretty good so guys I just washed my yakima I'm going to peel okay let me do this okay let's do this because we are going to use a cutting board okay I'm not trying to <laughs> I'm trying to adjust my camera there okay so we are going to peel so you peel it just like a my goodness with those nails oh oh I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this <laughs> But yeah, we're just gonna peel it. Uh, you can use a potato peeler. I don't use potato peelers. Don't ask me why. I just don't. Okay. We're gonna peel it pretty good. And oh, I'm so afraid of the knife. So after a nice peel, so this is nicely peeled. Okay. So we are going to now cut it, okay? Ooh, Lord. So just like that, I'm going to cut it. Be careful with the knife, guys. Oh my gosh. Okay. Just like that. Okay? So we are going to cut it kind of in a cir circular way so round roundly like this okay so something like that okay and then i'm going to cut it this way okay just like french fries kind of okay and then we are going to cut them like french fries you see that just like that just like that like french fries it's pretty good Mm. it's so good okay just try it it's actually very very good mm. so we are going to do that we are going to fry some and some of them i love eating mine raw yeah Next, we are going to be making hot cocoa, and I'll show you how I make my um, hot cocoa, okay? So, I'm just going to fill this with water until the water boils, okay? I'm just going to fill it up with water, and then we are going to be putting our hot cocoa inside and our powder milk pretty simple okay pretty simple okay and I'm going to cover it so this can boil so just waiting for our water to boil we are going to be deep frying our yakamas okay so these are the ones we are deep frying and we are going to have some uh, just raw like that. And you can hear by the sound. You can hear by the sound the water is boiling. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and add. If we have to be careful, okay? This is very hot okay so i am going to be adding my hot cocoa you okay okay we're adding hot cocoa inside my son bless favorite okay he loves hot cocoa so i'm got i'm adding hot cocoa Bless, what are you doing? Okay, stop that. And right away, I'm going to be, I'm going to stir, okay? I'm going to stir because I don't want it to have bubbles, okay? So what I'm going to do next to make it more flavorful, I am going to be adding a little bit of powder milk. 
I use Nido powder melt that I'm going to be adding. Voila, and we are going to stir. See that? Very tasty. And adding just a little bit of sugar, okay? I'll add a little bit of brown sugar. A bit of brown, brown sugar. And that's it. Our yummy hot cocoa is ready and we are going to enjoy it with some marshmallows. And I'm going to cover it to keep it hot, okay? It's hot cocoa, so voila. Voila. Let's go ahead and check in um, on our yakamas, the ones that are deep frying. You see that? They are ready. Just like that, okay? So, I was just getting everything started because uh, we're about to sit down and watch the movie. Uh, there is no school tomorrow, so the kids are very excited. It's Nevada Day, so we're about to go ahead and watch our movie. Very, very exciting moments. Uh, Christmas is coming up, so I wanted them to watch this movie. All right, so... Um, this movie is about, it's almost three hours, okay? It's like a three-hour movie. Um, but I wanted my kids to have the visual, okay? They know the story of Jesus, but they don't know really. They haven't really seen in a movie his suffering and everything. So this is what we have, okay? So I have some uh, tortillas. I have our chicken salad our guacamole and um, this is how I have it set up so I put it at the corner so they can come and grab and sit down and watch the movie and um, I have the tapioca crackers very very healthy and very tasty and then I have the yakama the raw, you see the difference? The the raw yakama and then the fried one, the ones that we had deep fried, okay? Very, very tasty. And then we have our brown uh, wheat bread and then we have the hot cocoa that I'm going to pour just to show you how my kids love to drink it. So we pour and then we put a little bit of marshmallows, okay? We don't have this often, okay, because it's sweet. Um, I try to avoid sugar all the time. I really try to avoid sugar. So this is why. Uh, these are things that we do from time to time, but not often, okay, because it's not the healthiest. But from time to time, we can have a bit of hot cocoa. It's very yummy, especially that it's starting to get cold at night. So yeah, why not? So like, um, no, as I was saying, so I wanted them to watch the story of Jesus to actually see it. And uh, because we are Christians, I'm a Christian, I believe in Jesus. However, I respect everyone's religion whatever you are into as long as you are a good person as long as you don't hurt others as long as you have a good heart that's really all that matters okay that what that's what matters the rest you know religion is really nothing <laughs> it's the heart okay the true religion is your heart okay but since i chose to be a christian this is my religion. So thanks for watching. Have a blessed night. Mwah.